Hello world, welcome to the 89th video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. This is the second video in our Open Hab home automation playlist and we're going to go step by step in setting up our own Open Hab home automation using a Raspberry Pi 4. So please subscribe to this channel, like it, and um, follow along with me as I build this. Again, we're gonna be going step by step. You're gonna build it with me. And so in the previous video, we installed the headless Open Havian operating system onto our Raspberry Pi 4. And then we opened up Pad Panel and then we stopped. So in today's video, we're going to access the operating system Open Havian using our um, a, a system called Putty. And then we're going to set up the Wi-Fi that we'll use in the next video. And then we're going to set up our very first widget in our own panel. So before we start, let's check out what our current system looks like. It's basically just our Raspberry Pi 4 connected to our laptop. Let's go. Okay, so this is how my Raspberry Pi is currently set up. So I have the power connected and then a Cat5 connected to my laptop. So make sure that you have connected your Cat5 to the Raspberry Pi. And then let's go straight into the um, Open Habian and um, start the Wi-Fi. All right, let's go. Okay, so now that we're in the, we have our Raspberry Pi connected to our computer. Go ahead and open up. Um, it works for me on Chrome, so I imagine uh, it works on others, but I just use Chrome and go to uh, OpenHab colon 8080 start index. For some reason, if you just take out the start index, nothing happens, so um, Make sure you have that backslash start backslash index. And we were messing with the HAB panel. So if you were to click this. Okay, so I already have Shane hooked up, but you will, might have a new one that says create new dashboard or open one from server. So uh, assuming this is your first time because you're following my playlist, go ahead and create a new one. And then you also get a chance to set the columns like this. So you can do add new dashboard here. And then you're going to give it a name. So I named mine Shane, of course. And then you'll have a blank canvas here. And what I did just to show off was I added a widget. Now these are all the um, the built-in widgets right here. So you can add whatever you want. Most tutorials have a dummy in there, but I went ahead and imported a clock. So click here, it will display up here and you could just click off of it. Um, there's a lot of custom widgets which we'll go over um, as we progress. But first I put a clock and then you can go to edit and these are the non-code edits that you could make. So as you go further and further into OpenHab you will make actual code edits to get it exactly the way you want it. So I imported, I just called it a clock. I gave it a digital. Uh, I like the dark theme. Um, so the digital format, you have to play around if you don't know. Um, this is kind of old school in Excel, but um, the old school formats for dates. So this is a lowercase h colon minute minute and then A for M, A and PM, I guess, if you will. And then I just chose the font size. So, and then yours will look like this. Uh, it kind of auto saves, but um, you could press run. And this is what it looks like right here. So, uh, if I had a touch screen, it would just do this and there would be no compatibility. All right, so you can go back to here to edit. and you can change however you want you can go our hour capital H H take out the a save and then run 
and that is what I call military time. So uh, if you've been a subscriber, you know that I just recently retired from the military. So let's not do the military time. And let's just do it like that. Save, run. And there you go. So as we build this further and further, um, most people have a master, which will be my Shane, and then an upstairs, downstairs, and then keep going, backyard, front yard, and then you have different widgets based on how much home automation you have. So right now, uh, we just have this one right here. Okay, so that's where we left off in the last video, was creating this panel. But right now, we're connected to our laptop. So, and um, eventually, uh, I'm going to have two Raspberry Pi 4s connected via Wi-Fi. And I will do all my design and the back end, if you will, on this Raspberry Pi. And then a new Raspberry Pi connected to a touch panel, which this will actually be a part of. So to do that, um, depending on which installation steps you followed, you may have not... Um, if you followed my video previous one you did not set up the Wi-Fi so because we knew we were gonna do that here so um, there is a system called putty and you could just google it um, p-u-t-t-y um, putty um, imagine if we did it right p-u-t-t-y like that, a free SSH and Telnet client. Go ahead and download that if you haven't. And we are going to uh, not do the IP address. We are going to just do open hab. All right, and then this one opens up here. Now again, uh, I discussed this in previous uh, my Lego Mindstorms videos when we SSH'd into the Mindstorm brick that this is now Linux so we're not doing Python we're doing more Linux based commands so um, I'm not gonna go through Linux tutorial in this we'll just go so the password the default admin and password is OpenHabian the password is also OpenHabian but just be aware with Linux it does not show the passwords so there are a bunch of funny memes on getting this wrong when you're into like the 18 to 36 digit passcodes. So open Habian. All right, did it on my first time. And then it's going to open up the uh, open Habian and it gives you a bunch of details for you. The IP address, make sure you write this down. This will be important the uh, Raspberry Pi 4 I'm using a model of B and then the rest of the information um, so to establish your Wi-Fi and do a lot of configuration we're gonna do sudo uh, if you don't know what that is suggest you watch some Linux tutorials but that's basically saying you're the root user you're basically the admin open Habian uh, I believe config okay yep oh it says right here so we are going to press enter and then it's going to ask for our password again and it won't show it and I got it right just for you uh, hit tab to unselect the buttons and scroll through the text using up or down page up or page down so uh, let's uh, these are just notes that anybody on a Linux platform um, let's keep displaying. Okay, so all we're going to do today is do the Wi-Fi. We're not going to do anything else. So go down to this one, System Settings. Okay, and then you're going to go to Wi-Fi Setup. It says Configure Wireless Network Connection. Okay, it's going to check to make sure it's all good to go before we do this. Um, I've already set mine up. Prior to the All right, so I'm not really sure what happened to my audio during the original recording, but uh, or the video, but basically I'm selecting the AT&T um, one. You have to type it in. Um, I couldn't figure out how to select it, and once you type it in, you can 
um, press sideways to OK. And as you can see, my video stopped too. I don't know what happened. But my screen capture kept going. So you pick the uh, Wi-Fi network, and then you can exit. So And then you can exit out of there by pressing uh, sideways, if you will. All right, and then it's yelling at me because my default password is still open Habian and it is letting you know that you should change the password. And so that's what I wanted to show initially. I don't know why my uh, webcam and microphone stopped working. So this is actually just a voiceover right now. But uh, so what we went over was um, setting up our very first open hab panel then accessing our Raspberry Pi using SSH and then we um, we went into open Habian config to set up the Wi-Fi so I hope you enjoyed this video I apologize for the weird audio and the frozen video and uh, please subscribe to my channel please like this video and thank you for watching. Goodbye, world.